I have arguably the best parallel twin motorcycle that money can buy. Let's have a look. Spoiler alert! Yes, the KTM 890 Duke R, also known as the Super Scalpel in many parts of the world, is the best parallel twin motorcycle in the world ever as of 2022. If you like naked bikes, you will love the 890 Duke R. It gives more power, higher torque and better control than any parallel twin ever manufactured. Let's first do the numbers on this motorcycle. It is an 889cc parallel twin liquid-cooled engine with 8 valves, double overhead cam that delivers 119 bhp and 99 newton meters of torque. And combined with a dry weight of a mere 166 kilos or 365 pounds and a wet weight of 188 kilos or 413 pounds, you get an amazing machine that accelerates from 0 to 100 in 3.1 seconds, which is nearly equivalent of most little class bikes out there. You get a 6-speed gearbox mated to a slipper clutch to avoid rear wheel hopping under downshifting or heavy deceleration. The engine features horizontally split crankcases made from high-pressure aluminium with thinner walls to reduce weight. The crankshaft and flywheel setup has been changed and is heavier to increase torque delivery. You get really good torque at lower revs. Tank capacity is 14 liters or 3.7 US gallons, giving you a range of 250 kilometers or 150 miles if you're riding within speed limits. On track, it's a totally different story, of course. The suspension. The 890R is a race spec bike, and their suspension is designed for track needs with a renowned WP Apex suspension. The front fork has independent functions with rebound and compression adjustability without special tools with a mere touch of a finger, as you can see. It is a 43mm inverted cartridge in front with a travel of 140mm, that's about 5.5 inches. The rear is a fully adjustable WP suspension with compression settings and rebound adjustments. Preload can be adjusted hydraulically, so it is fully adjustable. Rear suspension travel is 150 millimeters or 5.5 inches. The frame is designed to make the engine a stressed member. It is a chrome molybdenum steel alloy tubular frame that is made to race and go around corners with the utmost ease. A WP steering damper is standard, and as you can see, it is attached to the triple clamp. These tires are also made to race. These are Michelin Power Cup 2 Hypersport tires, which are meant 90% for track. It is evident when you look at the near slick profile. Brakes are phenomenal, as you would expect on a beast like this. Brembo Stylema clippers up front on 320mm double disc and a Brembo Master Cylinder as well, giving sharp feedback at all speeds. Rear brake is also a Brembo on a 240mm disc. The rear brake also gets a Brembo Master Cylinder. You get Supermoto ABS mode, which switches off ABS from the rear brake and you can slide around. Cornering ABS is standard. Let me show you how I sit on the bike. I'm 165cm or 5 feet 6 inches. The seat height is at 840mm or 33 inches. It is a relatively high sitting stance with the rear set foot pegs all designed for a racier and more committed stance for better lean angles if you have to go racing on track and scrape your foot pegs. The gear lever can be adjusted for race shifting without any additional parts. The handlebar is tapered and positioned lower for better feedback from the front end. There are three rotational adjustments and four positions of fine tuning, the triple clamp for more committed stance and an aggressive riding style. Though I do admit that seat comfort was not on top of KTM's R&D when they designed this bike, it was never meant to be. I would not be riding this bike from PA to Florida unless you paid me. Ground clearance is 206mm or 8.1 inches, which is pretty decent, but then this bike is not about ground clearance, is it? Though they designed an adventure bike on this engine. As for electronics, you get three rider modes, standard ABS, but if you get the tech pack, you would get access to a plethora of rider aids like track mode, various degrees of rear wheel traction slip with six axis lean sensors, quick shifter, engine map selection, wheelie control, launch control, you know, all the belts and whistles. At 12,399 US dollars, it is more than the price of a Super Sport, but much less than the price of a full-blown little class tool bike. Yes, it is indeed the best fastest and the most tech-loaded parallel twin to have ever been manufactured, and will probably rule the middleweight segment for a few more years. Who is a worthy rival of this amazing motorcycle? I would say the MT-09 SP version from Yamaha is a rival worthy of mention at a similar performance and similar price. I'll leave that debate for another day. That would be a good comparison. What do you think? Do let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think? I'll reply to your comments as usual, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, ride safe.